welcome back. I think I've got a little bit too much hair on my head. Anyways, guys, huge shout out, Paul Phillips. Cheers, dude, really appreciate that. And another huge shout out to Wick Wolf. If I've got that name right, dude, absolutely appreciate that. All the support this channel get means everything to me, basically. But anyways, I've got the big rock on my back. Doubt you can see it there. I'm going to test this uh, custom RC upgrades bash bar. See if it clips any of the curbs in here and damages the car, basically. But anyways, guys, stick around. Hope you enjoy this one. Well, looks like we might get some on and off rain today, but we'll just see how this goes. I've been worried about this custom RC upgrades bash bar, actually, to tell you the truth. That was a nice jump there. I don't think I got that on camera though. Send it around the ball. Oh, heavy landing. Flip it. Let's go. We'll get this back flip off here for this car. Like. Nice. Glad I got that one. No, oh, that should have landed that like sidestepped it one more. Nice, stuck that backflip there though. <laughs> See if I can do that again, just a nice short one. Nice. There's some unfortunate news about these cars as well, to be honest. Uh, come from a, a guy called KSR Nate. I don't know if you know who he is, but uh, I've got some good video of uh, the diffs on these cars and the drive shafts and just basically what he thinks about them. So that'll be in an upcoming video, guys. Oh, not on the wheels again, no, huh? It's got some bounce on it that it keeps there, even though it lands. That ain't dog shit, is it? Oh, gee. Gee. Could get be dog doo doo. Could get be dog doo doo. Oh. Let's hope that's not a dog doo doo. But, anyways, we'll keep going. Everything looks okay. Jeez, this is a real close camera angle. Just made it over the front wheels there. <laughs> nope, doesn't like it. <laughs> Why don't I run the wheels up that ball and get a backflip out of that? Here we go. Well, let's have a look at this bash bar. As you can see there, that's pretty scuffed up. Pretty bad, actually. Um, that'll focus in there. There you go. You can see the gouges in that there. Right on the front edge. But apart from that, it's not too bad. A few at the bottom there as well. Let's keep going. Oh, had to land on its roof. What a knob. Right, got a bat again. Oh, right on the front edge. Oof. Pass the fence. <laughs> How many rolls was that? Sure. 
a cone. Just missed off fence as well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you just haven't got the control with the big rock like you have with the Typhon, to be honest. I really want to do that again. The cheat I've done it. Oh no, I just can't do it. Technically, did it. He's starting to go low, you can tell. Oh, that was just a bad hit all round. Steering seems fine. Shocks are fine. They're not pulling out or anything like that. So the standoffs are working. I like to see that. Let's see if it's full of grass, eh? It's surprisingly not that I'm very very surprised at that but um yeah anyways I'm just giving the car a quick one so over checking all the air uh, the tie rods and stuff make sure there's nothing broke or cracked uh, everything seems absolutely fine what can I say about the bash bar uh, you can see there if I've put it on that profile there's some chips out of it um, but other than that it's not too bad some at the base there but mainly that's what it's for because this around here when you hit that concrete coming off of it at the back there, you can see where that screw goes in. It usually flattens the plastic and grinds the heads down. But yeah, anyways, the bash bar seems to do exactly what I want it to do anyways. Just think protecting these screws, you're going to gouge your heads down on them. They're a nightmare to get back out. And obviously that's a part of your diff case and to get the, the bulkhead off, isn't it? But um, yeah, guys, anyways, that's the custom RC upgrades bash bar. I do not like Z batteries. These for me, the charge funny and the drive funny, um, but each to their own. And how can I forget the motor mount, custom RC upgrades motor mount, if you can see down there the profile of that, absolutely straight, so guys that one there, good job. Your chassis brace though, I didn't like the fact that I had to do all this work to get it to fit myself, but not bad. A few moments later. I've got people complaining right, because they're in the open park with the dogs, but uh, I'm playing with my car like, so no, your dog's not shitting in the open park. I'll be two seconds, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so like I say, I'm just gonna keep playing on my car. Um, as far as I'm saying, parks are f***ing playing and not dog shitting. Oh, that just made it over that railing. I hope I got that. Oh. Scratch on the roof, man. Nasty. Shit. Yes. And this is in the park now. Dogs. So we'll see if we can keep away from them. Come on again, fucking arguments. Nope. 
can anyone answer me the question, right? There's a park for your fucking dogs, or there's a park to like come and play with this, you know what I mean? Or play on them and stuff like that. It's absurd. No wonder I ran through dog shit before. Oh, that front wheel got jammed straight in the grass there. Well, anyways, guys, on that note, all my big rock for the win. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next one.